Hi, I'm Andrea Nesbitt, and you're at Puget Sound Energy's Wild Horse Renewable Energy Center in Ellensburg, Washington. We have this visitor center that opened up in 2007. We're open from 9 to 530, April 1st through November 15th, and you can come out and explore our displays and hike on our trails. You can also meet Dexter, who is our mannequin displaying the safety equipment that we use to climb the towers. We have a table full of hands-on pieces of components from the wind turbines, like this high voltage cable that carries the power down from the generator to the tower. And then underground on this piece, we have flange bolts, blade studs. These hold the, the blades in the tower together. If you're really interested in construction, we have a construction video behind me. We also have live solar output showing how much power our solar array is currently putting out. Over here, we have a wide variety of geology and natural history displays. And then we also have Vestas Online, which monitors all 149 wind turbines that we have here at Wild Horse. And we can remotely turn them on and off and monitor the equipment inside. One of the coolest things that we have at Wild Horse is we have wind turbine tours at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and also by appointment. And we'll take you on a walking tour of our facility and also into the base of the wind turbine. Now we're outside of the visitor center at one of our tour stops. Next to me is an eight ton generator that produces up to 1.8 megawatts. This one has plexiglass so you can actually look inside of the generator and you can see the stator and the rotor. Um, this site averages about 17 mile per hour winds and today we're averaging 25 to 30 mile per hour winds. The wind turbines that we have here need at least a nine mile per hour wind to produce and they'll turn off at 56 mile per hour winds. We also have solar here at Wild Horse. This array has 315 panels made in Washington and it powers our visitor center. They're also a part of a much larger array that is the second largest in Washington state. This is probably one of our best displays. It's a 128 foot blade that weighs seven tons. Unfortunately, it was damaged during construction, but we have it now on display. And it gives you a sense of scale for how large these wind turbines are. Just for an example, the wind turbines behind me, the blade tip is rotating 150, mile per, 150 miles per hour. And uh, this blade shaped like a giant plane wing. So it actually creates lift as the air goes over and under it. So now we're inside a wind turbine. This is C2, which is a customized wind turbine that we take our daily tours inside. Right here we have a 220 foot ladder that goes up to the nacelle. We have about 16 technicians that keep these in running condition. To climb, they wear the full body harness. They clip on to this cable right here, which is for fall protection. The blue cable out front is called climb assist, and it takes up to 125 pounds of body weight off as they climb. One of the unique features of these wind turbines is the ladder is attached to the wall by magnets. And they do that so they don't have any weak points in the steel from bolting or welding. The wall itself is over an inch thick steel and can survive up to 150 miles per hour. There's also a high voltage cable right here, 34,500 volts that carries up to 1.8 megawatts of electricity. On the other side, we have the control panel, which we have a run and pause button to turn the wind turbine on or off just by pivoting the blades out of the wind. We also have an emergency stop button that uses the blades and the brakes at the same time. To learn more about these wind turbines, come on out for our tours at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock every day. And you can also go to pse.com backslash wildhorse to look over the rules.